as soon as I can visualize something, it's easier to turn it into a song. Even if I create a character in my mind and I can create a storyline in my mind, even if it doesn't show in the lyrics, it gives me something to work off of. So in a way, I probably did a little more of that on this record. Like the times I've written songs for, say, like Escape from L.A. or Daredevil, it's easy because you're, okay, I'll just, there's a, a preconceived world existing there. And this makes it easier than sort of sitting there with nothing. It's kind of hard to put it into words sometimes, but having Joey in the band has been great. And you know, really, we were kind of, each person adds a certain element. And it's hard to put your finger on what it is, but it's been a very invigorating person to add to the band. And it's really, I don't know, we can't, it's hard to describe, but it, I, once a person leaves and you get another person, Joey's really made us, I don't know, everything seems like it's jumped up to a whole nother level for us, so it's great. We recorded three new songs uh, last week that we're going to release sometime in September. I think sometimes uh, movies, it depends on when you see them in your life. And at the time I saw that movie when I was a kid, you know, they, they just, they make such an impression. I mean, a lot of people forget, but I think there was a time where movies really would leave an impression on you. Now, unfortunately, I feel like you go to the movies and most of the time it's such disposable junk. Even if it's entertaining, you barely are even thinking about it by the time you get to your car after seeing the movie. It's just real, it's a lot of, it's kind of like junk food. But, you know, movies like that really would resonate. And as a kid, I remember I'd see it and you would still be thinking about it for weeks, weeks, months later, you know, years later. So, that's probably why. Well, is there a chance that we'll get to see those Devil's Rejects characters back anywhere? It, you know, I always think about it because I just love those characters so much, but at the moment I, I don't have any plans for it. But I would love to, maybe. I don't know, it's weird. The creative process basically consists of you trying to think of something from scratch and put it and realize it to the end. But, um, I mean, music's different because, you know, music you can have kind of a fragmented thought process but a movie has to be a very linear sort of vision from one end to the other. Start with nothing and you end up with something, I guess, you know? I really love that movie. I think a lot of people didn't understand it. Or, or I, I'm, you know, you're fighting a certain thing where there's such a preconceived notion of how Michael Myers should be. And I didn't give a shit. Because most, you know, I like John Carpenter's movie, but the rest of them I don't care about at all. I think, you know, so I don't care. And I really wanted to make a movie about, you know, the, you have uh, Michael Myers, who's clearly insane. I want him to play as a human character. And his sister, who is descending into the same madness that he has. And I wanted the whole movie to sort of... You're watching two crazy people the whole time, really. I think that's why people like these shows, because you get a lot for your money. A lot of, you know... And we're, this, this is probably the biggest show we've ever even brought out with us. So really want to make people go, wow, you know, that was, that was totally worth it.